there's two things, and Shane, I'll ask you to weigh in as well, but first is that you know, we realized a few years into our focus on the business imperative with our leadership team and all of the initiatives that we were underway with, that we had a feeling from some of the white men that they did not feel that they were included in the process. In fact, they felt a little disenfranchised, even though many of them were leaders and were understood the business imperative and working on promotions and mentoring and sponsorship and hiring, but they just felt like they weren't really integrated across the corporation. And so we took an initiative, and, and frankly, on the other side, the, the women and minorities felt as though the white men weren't engaged enough. And so we initiated uh, workshops, we call them labs, where we bring together white men and through that process help them to step back and be in the moment of being a minority in a situation, whether it's gender or other minority, and help them to understand the perspective from some, in somebody else's shoes. And it has been, frankly, a life-changing moment for many of these men who it's changed the way they look at the workplace, it's changed the way that they look at, at uh, women in their, or minorities in their organizations and has allowed them to give more opportunities to them. We added to that uh, what we called allies and we started having integrated labs where we had both women and men in the room and, my, and minorities, so white men and then uh, women and minorities in the room so that the sharing happened. And I think those even took it to a new level because you had an opportunity for a female to say, this is how I feel in these situations. And, a white, and the white men to hear that for the first time. And I think that was truly a significant change. 